Hello, I am Seamus Dunahoo of EVE University, and this episode is about missiles in EVE Online. Missiles are one of the three major weapon types in EVE Online, the other major weapon types being turrets and drones. When a missile is fired, it requires time to travel through space, to chase after its target, and if it survives long enough to reach its target, it will always do damage on contact. The first consideration when trying to fit missiles to a ship is whether or not it has the correct fittings, uh, fitting slots available for it. Missile launchers always require high power slots, and it also requires launcher hardpoints. If you show information on a ship and you go to the fitting tab, you can look uh, for a line called launcher hardpoints and see how many hardpoints it has. Uh, every launcher requires a high slot and a launcher hardpoint. If there are no launcher hardpoints, you cannot fit missiles to that ship. Similarly, if there are no turret hardpoints, you cannot fit turrets to that ship. This is a Kestrel-class Kaldari frigate. It's got no turret hardpoints, for example, so I couldn't possibly fit turrets to this thing. Similarly, the Incursus-class Galente frigate, if I can find one of those... The Incursus class Galente frigate has no launcher hardpoints, so you couldn't possibly fit missiles to an Incursus. Now, the missiles and the launchers have a bewildering array of names that will very easily confuse a new player. So I will cover the various different types one at a time. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, if you show info on a missile and you look at the Attributes tab, there are certain uh, things you need to keep aware of. First of all, uh, it has a particular damage type, but it's also got a max velocity and a max flight time. In the case of the rockets, as fit to my ship, my rockets can travel 2.7 kilometers per second for about 2.4 seconds, which means uh, let's see, 2.7 times 2.4, these rockets will cover about 6.5 kilometers before they die of old age. Or run out of fuel, whatever. So rockets can only cover a few kilometers. Uh, so max velocity, max flight time. Uh, the other two numbers you want to look at are the explosion ra velocity and the explosion radius. And these numbers describe what kinds of targets the missile is effective against. If the target has a signature radius larger than the explosion radius, and the target is moving slower than the missile's explosion velocity, then it will take full damage from that missile. If the target's moving faster than the explosion velocity, then the damage is going to be diluted. If the target is smaller than the explosion radius, the damage is also going to be diluted. If the target is both small and fast compared to the missile, don't expect your missile to do a whole lot to the thing. So missiles, unlike turrets, don't care about angular velocity. They care about the size of the target and how fast the target is moving in any direction. Doesn't matter which direction, it just cares whether or not the target is moving. Alright, so the different kinds of missiles. In this first example, I've got rockets loaded into rocket launchers. These are the short-range frigate-sized missiles, and I've already shown you the attributes on those. With any type of missile, there are four kinds of miss of that type, one for the, each of the damage types. So Gremlin rockets do EM damage, Foxfire does thermal, Thorn rockets do kinetic, Phalanx rockets do explosive, for example. And you can take it, unload the, the, the rockets. You can unload rockets of one kind, load in rockets of a different kind in order to switch your damage type. The next example are light missiles. Light missiles loaded into standard missile launchers. And these are the long range frigate sized missiles. For example, the standard missiles, as I have them fit to my ship, are a max traveling velocity of 4.5 kilometers per second, max flight time of 6 seconds. So these things will cover about 27 kilometers. That is long range for a frigate. 
Uh, these particular missiles have an explosion radius of 47 meters, explosion velocity of 221 meters per second. Okay. So good for fighting other frigates at long range, at least long range as far as frigates are concerned. By the way, all of these numbers are affected by your skills in the missile launcher category, if it'll show up, missile launcher operation category. All right, so these are the skills in the missile launcher operation category and your skill, your levels in those skills will affect the numbers of the missiles that you equip. To see the effects you need to show info on the missile, not necessarily the launcher, though you could also look at the launcher as well. Um, you show info on the missile and the launcher from the fitting window. So again, rockets and rocket launchers for short range, light missiles in standard missile launchers for long range, for frigates. The next example, and I'm going to move a little bit quicker, we have heavy assault missiles in heavy assault missile launchers. These are cruiser-sized missiles used at short range. By the way, in any particular size category, uh, the short range missiles do more damage per second than the longer range missiles of the same size. So, heavy assault missiles in heavy assault missile launchers, that's cruiser short range. The next example are heavy missiles which go into heavy missile launchers. Notice the absence of the word assault. And these are the long range cruiser missiles. The next example are torpedoes. Torpedoes go into siege missile launchers. And these are the short range battleship size missiles. The next example are the cruise missiles and they go in cruise missile launchers. These are the long range battleship size missiles. Right. So rockets are frigate short range, light missiles in standard missile launchers are frigate long range, heavy assault missiles are cruiser short range, heavy missiles are cruiser long range, torpedoes are battleship short range, cruise missiles are battleship long range. Right. So frigate, cruiser, battleship, and short and long range for each. That much is straightforward. The final example, that's the odd one out. This is a strange one. You can also load light missiles into assault missile launchers. Not to be confused with the heavy assault missile launchers. Clear as mud, isn't it? Light missiles can be fit into assault missile launchers. These are cruiser-sized launchers that fire the long-range frigate missiles. So for those of you who are keeping score, the light missiles can be fit into either assault missile launchers, which are cruiser modules, or into standard missile launchers, which are frigate modules. The advantage of the assault missile launchers is that they have, over the standard missile launchers, is that they have a somewhat faster refire time than the standard missile launchers. So uh, the assault missile launchers on a cruiser can uh, shoot out these missiles more frequently than the standard missile launchers on a frigate. So those are the six kinds of missiles and seven kinds of launchers. I have not covered the capital ship sized launchers because those of you who are watching this video are probably not likely to be dealing with capital ships. Though if you want to look it up, you can always go to the market, you can go to the browse tab, the missiles are under ammunition and charges, missiles, and you can look at the different kinds of missiles. You can also go to ship equipment, turrets and bays missile launchers and look at the different kinds of launchers. Alright, 
I hope this provides a basic overview of missiles. In the meantime, thank you for watching.